Hello everyone and welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to be doing a video on all of my damaged models. Now there is uh, a good few of them um, there's, and a lot of them may have came like this or may have fallen on while I was like putting them in for an update, putting them on the uh, board for an update. Now uh, I do have to say um, yes there is quite a lot of them so let's just get started. Uh, so here we have uh, the United States Air Force One. Now you definitely know this one. Uh, you've seen it in uh, I think two of my updates. Definitely two of them. So the problem with this one is is that um, the landing gear here slips off so easily and it's absolutely tiny. There's a average of my hand. Um, and if I have to say to you, these planes, when when they're like talking about very scale die cast models they're not joking are they um so yeah there's just like that's one to 400 and if i was to put my hand uh up against out of this uh out against this that's my hand like this is my hand compared to this model it's a pretty i bought this model for like 26 uh euros off the aircraft model store uh it's a hogan model um uh, I think this happened because uh, the cause of this, I'm going to be giving you like the cause and where it came from. So this was ordered from uh, the aircraft model store, I think it was in March of 2020. Uh, so it's a relatively new model. Uh, and it broke because of me. I think I was bringing it up and one day I just noticed that it had no landing gear. So this could be from postage i think it may be from postage i'd say it got broken um so the cause of it is unknown so unfortunately it's unknown for now guys so sorry i can't um give you the full definition of this model's um reason of being broken but let's just move on to the next one so the next one here you know probably as well um, it is the uh, Gemini Jets A330-300 for the TAP, or TAP. Um, now, this one was a pretty bad model, if I do say so myself. Uh, it was not uh, very um, good. Um, uh, so, what happened with it was, it was a brilliant model. It's a brilliant mould, if I, I have to say that. Um but the problem is, the only problem that happened with this is that on the way home, obviously the engines were very, very um, fragile uh, because I got this for as a Christmas model. Uh, but, and also this engine here, bro these two engines broke off. And as you can see on this side, I'll just do this side and then I'll go to the other side, it broke so i actually don't know the company that this was ordered off uh, it was a christmas model so um it uh, it may have well been ordered off i don't know um it could have been ordered off like uh, aviation mega store for all i know i don't know the actual place that this was actually bought off but you can see that there's super glue there one day i woke up and said oh yeah i'm going to fix this model because Obviously, it was very sad to see a model like this broken, and you can see the Portuguese flag was focus uh broken. This one is probably the worst engine of all. You can kind of see that it's very very unfortunate the engine there. Sorry that this camera's moving on not on a tripod today. Um and then you can see the super glue on these stabilizer wings at the back because I think my brother took it out of a cabinet once before I had an airport. I think I started my airport I would imagine in twenty eighteen, maybe twenty nineteen. Uh I started my airport building it. I have a picture that I could show you today at the end of the video. That I'm going to do. So, yeah, let's just move on to the next model, because the next model, it's probably the worst that we've had yet. So, here we have the DHL A310. Yes, you know this model. So, this is a 1-500 model. It's an A330-200 um, freighter. Uh, it's very small. It's a very small model. Um, my finger, that's my finger there compared to this model. That is my thumb 
compared to this model. It is pretty small. Um, uh, so, yeah, let's just take a better better look at this. A bit of a better look, of it, look at it. So, I'm holding free-handed now over the airport. So, I'm going to lift up this model and flip it over. Now, this model actually... And um, surprisingly, it has plastic. It's a Herpa uh, 1-500 model, Herpa miniature model. Uh, this is my second Herpa model. I only have two. Because um, I wanted a DHL for a cheap price. I didn't, know, I didn't actually read the description of the model. So I told my dad, uh, because he was going to buy me this, he said, I'll buy you this. And I said, oh yeah, I want this one. And then he said, okay. And I didn't read the product description because I think that was when I started my airport back. I don't. I think it was like, I don't. I can't remember when I started, but um, uh. So you can see here that recently this was my fault. So the place that this was bought, uh, aircraft model store. Uh, a lot of these are aircraft model store, but some of them aren't. I would imagine actually no uh, so um i bought this off aircraft model store and it it sat on my old airport it was like a cardboard airport as i said actually no i didn't tell you that it was a, a cardboard airport but i definitely will show you it i've got a pretty blurry uh, uh like photo of it that i took uh, t i took from a, a an instant camera you'll see at the end of the video so um so this uh, yeah i all for some reason the camera always like does it looks like it's like loads of colors show up at the screen and it's sometimes really annoying so let's just check out the underside of this model so there's a stub there so i think i was the cause of this model's misfortune um so my Antonov two two five. The day that I came back, like literally, I'd say I was ten minutes in the door, and I said, I lifted up my Antonov model and I moved it around the airport, like, uh, to look at it from different places to see whether it looked good in uh, an airport update at the end of the runway. So I actually think I did a yeah I did a video with it at the end of the runway my most recent update uh, at the end of the runway and then I actually put it there because I moved I lifted it around the airport and stuff and then I realized that I, gear was missing on it and then I came over to this model and said or I searched for half an hour at least for the wheel because I was desperate and then I couldn't find it so I went over to this model and said sorry DHL um, you have been broken a lot of times before. So apparently, actually, I fixed this one twice. So these, uh, the gear here, uh, I don't have something. So the that gear there and the other gear there, uh, they actually broke off. So this was from aircraft model store, and the cause of the reason, me. So yeah, I was obviously the cause of the reason. Unfortunately, I have to take the blame for this, and. Um, I was thinking that I could fix this model. I did, and yeah. So I said to myself, I might, for like Christmas or my birthday or something, I might get a replacement, maybe 757-200, or um, maybe an A330 and one to 400. Uh, not off Herpa, I don't think. I'd say I'd go with a... Maybe I might go with the Phoenix if they do sell that, or maybe an NG. So I'd probably go with the NG 757, and then if I was looking for uh, an A330, I I think Gemini Jets make it. Now thinking about it, I don't think Phoenix make it, but uh, let me know down in the comments below whether um you know what companies sell a A330, because I might get two, I don't know, I might buy one actually. Um... So, if I am going to buy one, prepare for an unboxing. That's all I can say. So, there probably could be an unboxing coming in 
maybe a month or two how long is it away yeah so i would imagine that i probably will do an unboxing soon uh for the channel uh i'll see about getting another model i hopefully will get a very exciting model because i remember the last time it was an exciting model the travis c5 Luckily, this guy is not in this um, video, so yeah, let's just get started, uh, or let's just uh, get back onto the video. You probably know that I've been in Zoom for quite a while, so uh, I'm taking myself out of the Zoom, and uh, I am going to move on to this model. Now, you're probably pretty sad about this model. Uh, this model is a very sad model, indeed. Yeah, so that kind of gives you a perspective of how many planes we have left to go through. Um, and we probably should be getting started on the actual, um, you know. So we're going to go to this model. And I was very, um, this was my first ever model. And in fairness for me being about six or seven. I have looked after this model superiorly well, but the first ever time that I ever saw Gemini jets in my or Gemini jet in my hand, it was broken. Now, many of you probably have your Gemini jet or plane, and the first ever plane that I got was broken. Um. Yeah, but everybody has their uh, misfortune, but I would definitely not call this a misfortune. It has been an absolute... I, I'm just saying this, this might sound like a bit silly, but it's been an absolute privilege actually fixing this model. Because I feel that this model has brought me so many places. I remember when I had two models, kept them in a cabinet and looked at them every day and said, Wow. And both of them were broken. That tap and or the TAP and the Emirates were both broken models but I fixed that um, because the, fir the front landing gear to this plane was lost so I took a landing gear off the back of the plane uh, the rear of the plane that's not visible but obviously you can see if I put it up you can see there just on there I can't put my finger in because this is a heavy model uh, and if I drop it, I will be absolutely crying, and I don't think you want to see me crying. Uh, <laughs> just kidding, I wouldn't cry. Uh, I've dropped a model before, and you'll see that, definitely see that model in this video. So that gear there, that gear there. So those two gears are unfortunately broken, but I think I glued down one. Uh, I'm not too sure. Yeah, I think I glued down that one and the other one. So, yeah, that's kind of all that's broken on this model. And it also chipped its back tail. Um, There, that was an unfortunate chip. Don't know how that happened. Um, so, the place that this was bought uh, was unknown. Cause of it, shipping. Um, And I think another cause of it may have been me. No, it definitely wasn't me. I think, it, actually, no, it probably was me. Because at that age, you want to play with the plane. And I was six or seven. And in fairness, seeing this at this actual quality, I think that this was actually a pretty outstanding, like, be able to see this model actually safe here. Um, so, yeah. So let's just move on to uh, the next model. I haven't said that this video is going to be pretty long, but it's going to, uh, it is going to be, it's probably going to be about like 20 minutes or something. Um, this one is a hard, hard, hard model to actually get up to. It's really, really hard to actually see this, that it's a broken model. Um, now you're probably all wondering, why am I being so picky about it and going, it's only a scratch. It's only a landing gear. To us as collectors, I'm going to say this to you, it's very hard because these are so expensive. I think I said in the description of or in a comment to when I replied to someone, I think I said, I think my Travis Airspace one was about 50 euros. Uh, it was an expensive model. 
Um, but for us as collectors, we don't want to lose our money or we don't want to make it a waste. So we always use our planes, no matter broken or if it is. Um, so this livery is by far probably one of my favourites. I'd say my favourite livery ever was probably this livery. Yeah, this one here is kind of like a Skymarks plane. It's a, a very nice plane. Um, it's the rug. It's the Irish or Aer Lingus rugby livery. Um, so it's so nice. So you've got the official airline of the Irish rugby team, Aer Lingus, the IRFU, Irish rugby, uh, fund. Wait, I I'm not I'm not too sure. It will be there hopefully um for you and uh the saint saint i can i can't actually see that but um you've got green spirit you've got the rugby players and then i'd say it's about the same on the other side yeah and then you've got the green shamrock on the side and then uh green spirit Hashtag green spirit on the back. It's a very nice plane. It's kind of like the green that they have on Aer Lingus now. So yeah, let's just um slide that there. It is actually a damaged model. Uh, I one day found out that that was what happened to it. But not too bad. I've got all Aer Lingus. I've got all my Aer Linguses in my shelf. I've got like these sky marks. I think they're called Premier Planes. And then I've got like an Aer Lingus van, and then I've got like these Aer Lingus. I don't think any of these are broken, but let's just move back on to the video. So yeah, you're probably wondering what actually is wrong with this plane at all. It's the antenna is broken on this model. It's a sad antenna to be broken. So, or it's the front antenna, so it's a pretty bad antenna to be broken. Um, so there. Um, I don't know whether you're able to get replacement antennas, but I actually searched my whole entire airport, and still to this day I do. Uh, but I lifted up my board to repaint uh, on a new runway signing, because I remember my first runway was 56. Runway 56, that's a, not a, that's a fictional runway, obviously, because uh, you can go only go up to uh, 36. 36? Yes, I would imagine it's around 36, um, because 360 degrees, um, but that's for another video. So this model is actually very nice, it's a very nice model, it's by Phoenix, um, sorry my dog barked there at somebody, um, so yeah, the landing gear don't roll back, are like, um, flex, like the, uh, yeah, sorry, if you hear a couple of barks, I'd say my dog is barking at like the car coming in or something uh so they let's just put it this way it doesn't flex like the gemini that's what phoenix do um but yeah that's a sad model to see broken but yeah you could probably see the, see this from a mile away and you know what was coming when i was back all the way back there yes this is probably the most unfortunate model to be damaged and uh, now this is probably the least like the l least worst next one you're going to see is the worst by far so this landing gear on the front i told you about this story uh i took off landing gear off the dhl but then i m actually it was a miracle i found it on the airport table someone must have lifted it up off the ground but it's tiny landing gear that's so that can slip off, but I would prefer not to slip it off because um it's impossible to slip back on. It's so 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 annoying to slip back on. But you know this model, you've seen it a lot of times. I think it was like in at least two of my updates. So yeah, it was back in oh sorry, my camera dropped. Um yeah, so the landing gear can fl uh, flex back and forward. Uh not like they can, if it focuses, yeah, see, look, that does that there, uh, as cargo, and uh, for, or it doesn't, it's not meant to do that, but this is probably the least damaged model, and I don't think it even qualifies as damaged, not a lot of these do, because, like, a lot of them, like, wouldn't be damaged, but I thought it might be a good idea for you to find out what my damaged models are and aren't.
So the next one we're going to move on to is a very big shock. The last time you saw it in an update, it was actually perfectly fine, but then an accident happened with the airport board that will shock you as well. And I was so, so, so sad about this. And this was my third model as well, so you're going to see this. This. Yes, this model. Please let this be a dream. No, it's not a dream. So this model is, of course, the TAM A320. This one is really, really sad to actually see as a broken model. Like, look, I, I had this in my last update, and now it's broken. I don't know how... Look, this board here is supported by this wood. I came around here, or I actually... Uh, I I know this board has fallen three times before, and I think the last time that it fell, I think I, or I think one of my friends came over and accidentally tipped it. I wasn't. I was pretty annoyed, but um, I I have the closed sign on the runway at the moment because I actually have a very good idea for an update. But you will see that in the next update, which probably will be next week or the week after, because. Uh, just to let you know, I won't be update uh, uploading for about a week and a half or so. So yeah, sorry about that. Um, so yeah, this is a really sad model to actually get to, but it's probably the smallest, or it's one of the smallest. So, um, yeah. So the land, two of the landing gear here are gone. So I think the la I actually broke this model. So where did this model come from? Uh. It was the aircraft model store, I would imagine. Yeah, I think so. Uh, and also, the Antonov came from the aircraft model store, and cause of the accident with the Antonov was probably me moving it around the airport. Um. So yeah. Um. So, but we're on this model. So the cause of it. Um. I think it once dropped. I don't know who dropped it. it must have fell somewhere, and the um. The stabilizer on the back fell off, uh, and then uh, I I thought that that happened when my friend accidentally uh, tipped it, but then uh, I was over here at my desk with a iPad. I think you saw that iPad before. It was the Samsung iPad that was like there. Oh, and a joke for you: Boeing Seven Alexa Seven. Yeah, because I've got an Amazon Alexa. Alexa. Oh no, she's not on. But um, yeah, yeah, she's turning on there. Don't worry. Um, we won't be needing her. Um, so yeah, uh, I was with the iPad. The uh, tablet was there, and I was here, and I flipped the tablet, and this fell. This plank or this board is the support to this one board. This literally hovers off the ground, uh, here, and you. Yeah, it's pretty scary the way that it happened. It was a big crash and it gave me the fright of my life. And this plane there was neglected really badly. This camera has absolutely awesome zoom. Let's see, can we actually make it all the way down? Okay, so 15.0 is, is the max that it can go. So yeah, the time got in the way and it fell. Because this board is relatively new and it's like chipped here. Stuff caused the falls. Um, yeah. So it's pretty sad that this model broke. So it, that's the remnants of the landing gear. The back tail fin. Um, yeah. So I was really, really sad about this model because it was my third ever model. And you're probably wondering how did it happen. Yes, the board fell again yesterday because of me. I ran around this corner and I touched off it. I, like, cut myself off the uh, edge of this board here. I went like that. And then um, the board slipped and fell. I think it was on me. I think it may have actually fallen on me. Uh, and this plane actually fell and lost another landing gear because it only had lost one of these, one of these two landing gears here. But I think it was... Yeah, this landing gear here, it lost. So, yeah, a lot of you, any of my friends that have been or have seen my airport and seen this model, 
yes, it's actually a huge, huge shock that this actually happened. I'm so, so sad, but I'm so, so grateful that it actually didn't break as much as I thought it might. Um, so, yeah. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I shall be uploading about, like, in a week and a half because I'm gone away. Um, so, yeah, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.